This message is a warning for sisters. There are many Israelite men, Torah only, and also especially New Testament. Those who have not really studied the scriptures and are following man, or they just have hard feelings based in um, all women on wicked women in the world who don't serve the Most High, who don't try to keep the Torah law. We'll start with New Testament. The New Testament teaches in the, in the beginning, they used to teach men that all women are wicked. And so basically they taught that you cannot convert a woman because all women are wicked. And they, they will bring out scriptures on this fact. This is all true. So whether you're righteous or not, he, he thinks that all women are wicked. So he's actually looking for any woman. Any woman will suit because all women are wicked. So a man that thinks all women, women are wicked, they're not looking for a righteous person because they themselves are wicked. If you're righteous, you're going to be looking for someone who's equal. Not complaining about wicked women of the world because if you're supposed to be righteous, why are you even considering a wicked woman? They shouldn't even be um, something that you would even consider or worry about. I understand rebuking wickedness and, and helping people by showing them their sins. That's great. But I do have a huge concern with men who are constantly complaining about women this, women that, but never talk about any righteous woman existing, okay, because they're having trouble finding a woman. Note, note this fact. A happily married man never complains about uh, a woman. Usually it's single men, and as soon as they get a woman, they're not complaining. They're not singing that song. So these are angry men. There are plenty of angry Israelite men, but there's plenty of, um, of righteous Israelite men. This warning is for sisters to watch out for men who are constantly complaining about women and not, and not even considering that there are righteous women in the world. So basically, they want, um, they want a reason or an excuse. They're showing you excuses why they end up with a wicked woman because they don't see a righteous woman because a righteous woman doesn't catch their eyes. They can't tell the difference between a righteous and a wicked woman because to them, all women are the same. This, is, this should be very troubling to you. I see a lot of posts being shared back and forth about wicked women, and that's fine because it's good to rebuke the wicked. But I don't see the same people posting about them being any righteous sisters because you know what? I've come across quite a few righteous, beautiful sisters, and their souls are lovely, and they're gorgeous too. But why are they having trouble finding a, a man? See, the, the problem is we as 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 Torah observant, if we if we say we keep Torah, we are not supposed to be looking um, f amongst those who don't believe in Yah. And do you not know Deuteronomy thirteen and six says to put to death your wife if if they start talking about another god. So if you marry someone who's wicked and they start talking about another god, let's say for example, I don't know J C. If he's, if they start teaching you that, you know, you, you got to come worship JC, praise JC this and, and Buddha that and, and whatever other religion, if they start talking about that, according to the scriptures, if we was in the land of Israel, you're supposed to put them to death. Obviously you can't do that. So why would you marry that? If you are with anybody that is teaching against serving the most high, you have to divorce them. There's no way around it. Part of marriage, according to the scriptures, is that they keep the Torah. If they don't keep the Torah, they out, man or woman. This goes for man or woman. If you're with the man and, and he's not keeping Torah, guess what? Eventually, you will not keep Torah because you guys will help each other in not keeping Torah. So two people, if, if, if you're both walking to serve the Most High, you both should be serving the Most High. Not one serving the Most High and the other one not because there's going to be children um, being born amongst this relationship and eventually um, one of you guys are going to teach them not to serve the most high and someone you know your your whole your whole um your whole way of life will be com compromised you're not going to really serve the most high so a worldly woman is for a worldly man and i'm not saying any of these women in this picture is wicked or righteous but i don't know them but i'm pretty sure none of them serves yeah um, possibly they could, but a worldly woman is for a worldly man. Okay. You know, I'm just grabbing pictures online and putting, you know, words on them so you can understand. Don't think I'm calling any particular woman wicked. I'm not doing that. I don't know them.